Alrighty then. So, hello there again, internet. It is now Silver Scrub here. I have progressed a little bit in the past day, and I just want to show you and talk about all Blanca's buttons. This video is really aimed at beginners and people who are new to Street Fighter or or new to Blanca more specifically. And I just want to talk about his normals. What you can do with them, what's good, when to use them. And yeah, that's really it. So let's uh, let's get into this. So first things first, we're going to talk about his lights. Standing jab, right? Five frame, five frame move, or a five frame startup. Total is a 17 frame move. Uh, so it's pretty fast. It's got a decent, a relatively decent distance in comparison to his other lights, including his kicks. I believe it has the most distance when it comes to all of his lights. This this uh, normal is not bad. It doesn't really combo into anything, however. It doesn't, I believe on hit, it also doesn't even combo into itself. But what you can do is you can, you know, like with every jab in this game, you can drive rush cancel it, special cancel it. It's minus three, so you're not going to be getting blown up if you, you know, if it gets blocked. It's got a 10 frame recovery, so, and especially if you're playing online, that's, that's pretty safe. Like, someone really has to be focused to whiff punish that, because it's super fast. But yeah, so that's Blanca's standing jab. It's not, I wouldn't, I would not say to whiff it, or you know, press it in the neutral, right? Because uh, he has much better buttons for it. But it's definitely not bad, and of course, there's the ability to drive rush cancel. You can cancel into electric, and that will st still same uh, frame advantage as well. It's also minus three. So there's a, it's versatile. It's there, you know. If someone's doing a block string, maybe you want to throw it out, so you can kind of understand. Oh, that move is, uh, I'm, I'm at like advantage, like two. I have a two frame advantage in my my five frame punish hits, right? It's his farthest reaching light normal attack and it's cancelable into everything except for supers. So not bad, it's average. Alright now we're gonna talk about his crouching jab. Six frames, so I believe this one is actually the longest startup out of all of his light normals. This one has the takes the longest for it to go into its active frames of which it's only active for three frames. It's minus two, so it's extremely safe. And you can pretty safely just hit it three times on block, and people won't really be able to punish that. So it's definitely not bad. It's it's one of his shorter moves. One of his shortest moves, actually. But you'll see this, his shortest normal in a second here. Uh, yeah, so 8 frame recovery, again, someone will have to be really on their toes and focused to whiff punish this. It's pretty safe for you to whiff it here. Decent range, not as, well not as big of a range as standing jab, but deceptively good range. So yeah, not a bad normal. You can throw it out there, I wouldn't recommend throwing it out a whole lot. If someone is right next to you and you're, you know, trying to get them off of you, you could always do one, two, three. It puts them at about mid-range and then, you know, you can hit them with stand strong or... Yeah. And it's also special cancelable, so... So there's, there's that to it as well. And you can drive rush it, I believe. Yep, there you go. I'm just awful. Okay. So that's really it for crouching jab and all of his jabs really uh, very average decent jabs uh, not you're not gonna get blown up if you whiff on block you're not gonna get blown up either so you can throw them out if you're like pretty close to someone all right so now we're gonna move on to his light kicks 
his shorts. And this is what I was talking about when I said that his crouching jab was not his shortest reaching attack. It's actually his stand short. But the reason it's it's like that is because it's four frames. So that's a very that's pretty fast. Startup is four frames and it's got a seven frame recovery. I believe this is his fastest button. You can just really go go to town with it. It's very good if someone's like hitting you over and over with a block string and you're really not sure uh, which of your buttons will interrupt that block string. You don't know how plus or minus you are. So it's not a bad panic button. Obviously in this game there is a, such a thing as drive impact and please drive impact all day if someone's block stringing you. But you know, this is not a bad button if you don't have, if you don't have much meter and you don't want to go into burnout. It's not a bad panic button. It goes into itself twice. And it's four frames, so you'll know that your four frame startup move will punish it, and then you can go, okay, I'm gonna try out my five frame next, and then maybe six frame. Or maybe your six frame doesn't reach, which I doubt, because this move is super short. And let me show you. Look at how close you gotta get. His crouching short hits further than his stand short. They have to be so close for this to land. Really, I I would not recommend really using it all that much. In the neutral, that is, because in the neutral, like if you're spacing from if you're spacing each other, it's like this is not gonna hit. It's never gonna hit in a million years. His standing jab will, but not his standing short because it's far too short in terms of distance. But it is it is his quickest button. It has the least recovery as well, and you can special cancel into whatever you want. So it has some stuff going for it, but don't use it in the neutral. Use it in a block string if you want, because, you know, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. But, yeah, that's really it for a standing short. Nothing crazy about it. It's got very short reach, so I wouldn't recommend trying to uh, hit someone around mid-screen or you know you're trying to space each other and you're gonna punish with it I would not recommend it for that if they're right next to you it's a good panic button if you're not sure of the frame advantage so yeah that's it for that all right now we're on to this crouching short which is also a short reaching move it doesn't go very far it is actually fairly long right it's got a five frame startup it's only active for two frames and it has a 10 frame recovery keep in mind his standing jab it has it's only one frame quicker than his standing jab right and it's minus three it has basically the same properties as doing a standing jab but it reaches it does not reach as far this is probably his worst button. I never use it. It has terrible range, right? Not as bad as this, but it's not that much better either. It's got a 10 frame recovery compared to his crouching jabs 8 frame. And on top of that, it is not cancelable into anything. You cannot cancel it into his Savage Stab, right? You can't cancel it into a Ball or Electric or Super even. It's just not a good move. It's not even his quickest move, so I don't know why it has the properties that it has because it's just really not good. I would never ever, never use this. I, I wouldn't, I would rather you know, do that. Four frame. And it's active for four frames as well. This is only active for two frames. Got a longer startup and it's horrible range. You can't cancel into anything. I think this will probably get you killed. You can't even drive impact from it. So yeah. Crouching light kick is crouching short. Not good. Don't use it. Alright. So now we're gonna move on to his standing strong. His 
So, uh, standing strong, right? Still about the same as it was from Street Fighter V. Probably still one of his best buttons in the entire game. Or, not in the entire game. I meant to say it's Blanca's best button, in my humble opinion. Keep in mind, I'm my rank is silver, I am not a pro, and I am terrible. But yeah, standing strong. A lot of reach on this move. It's safe. It is uh, super cancelable. You can go into any super that you want, especially on hit. Still one of his best moves. Yeah, you can walk up, throw it out, 15 frame recovery, so there's that, keep that in mind. But as long as you space yourself properly, you're not really going to get blown up for whiffing it, right? Because uh, Blanca's hurtbox does extend with his arm. He does get a bigger hurtbox, which means that if I were standing here, obviously Jamie's jab wouldn't hit me. But if I threw this out and he did a jab at the same time, he would hit if I throw that out. But not enough to where he's going to get a full combo. I'm not close enough for that. But yeah, it's a not it's a 10 frame startup. So you know, so you really have to space yourself with it. But it's a very good checker. And of course, it's easily hit confirmable into super. You know, your level one, two, and critical art. I use this I use this standing strong like every match. Just constantly checking people, walk up, check. Still probably his best button, I would say it's his best button, but yeah, standing strong, very, very good move still, and yeah, that's that's about it, Def definitely one of, a really good button to press, you can really press it at any time and be fine as well, and yeah, do that, press, press stand strong, try it at home too, now we're gonna go on this crouch strong. 9 frame startup minus this is okay. So what I need to explain here is that in Street Fighter 6, they have so they have sort of changed how frame advantage works in regards to distance from your opponent. Before in 5, it was like it was almost like every single move that had like a far reach, right? It would change the further away you got from your opponent. If you were right next to them, you would be like minus like six or something, but if you got further, further, further away, you would be like plus two or something, right? In this game, only a select few moves are like that. So, and this is one of them. It's a minus five if you use it right next to someone. It's, I, if they block it, there is a good chance that you will just probably get jabbed and you're gonna get blown up I I would say like if you hit this and they they block it uh, start blocking because the chances of you interrupting with a uh, any other move is pretty low with any other normal is low obviously you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it and I'm gonna explain how to make it a better button in a sec here but yeah, it's actually got fairly good range. Not as good range as a standing strong, but pretty good range. And its frame advantage changes in regards to how close you are to your opponent. If you're right next to them, minus five, right? You're probably gonna eat a jab, it's, it's their turn. If you're a little further away, if you keep hitting them, minus four furthest away is minus three so this move becomes safer as you are further from them which does add a layer to it where you can constantly make it safe and just make it a pretty decent poke and of course you can special cancel into electric right into his little blanca charge and that's minus three so there's tons you can do with it that's really all there is, I would say, to his crouching strong, it's something you, you'll have to kind of work into your playstyle and you'll have to work it into just everything with Blanca. It's definitely, 
it's not bad, it's not his best button, but you can make it work. You're really gonna have to work and figure out the, the sweet spot of this move, especially in a real match. And But it can definitely work. Around, you know, if you're within range to hit him with stand strong, you can hit him with your crouching strong, and you'll actually be safer because you're minus three from that range, or minus four. All right, now we're gonna actually move on to uh, Blanca's first uh, unique move. It's overhead. It's his forward, his forward strong, forward medium punch. Uh, it's called Rock Crusher, I believe, or Rock Smasher. It's a two hit overhead, and it's minus two on block. On hit, it's plus two. So either way, it's safe. On hit, you can challenge a whole lot, right? On hit, it's your turn, so you can start uh, uh, really just going to town on your opponent with a block string or frame trap them with it because they might think, oh, overhead, it's not that uh, safe or something. Obviously, as with all overheads, you kind of have to know when to throw it into the mix because if you constantly overhead someone, they're gonna be like, oh, he's doing that overhead again. And it's a super long startup, it's 20 frames. That's plenty of time for whoever you're playing against to, to interrupt and freaking destroy you. But yeah, it's your average overhead, but I'll, I'll show you how to really make this overhead like scary in a, a later down the line in this video. So now we're gonna move on to Blanca's standing for his forwards, it's medium kicks. And he's got some pretty, he's got some good ones, honestly. His medium kicks have good range. They are pretty darn safe. They don't have I mean, they have quite the recovery time though. That's the big downside to them. But they have a quick startup, great range, can be canceled into any special moves. You can drive rush cancel them. They're very versatile and you can just kind of throw them out. If you're if you know they're going to hit, throw them out, right? If you're if you're unsure, then don't because it's got a long, long recovery. So yeah, standing medium kick. Uh, very good on block, very good on hit, but do not throw it out in the neutral around here because it's got a very long recovery and it's plenty of time for your opponent to see that and then they'll, you know, they'll go ahead and do a combo on you. But it is otherwise safe, quick startup, and yeah, you can cancel it into anything you want. So yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Good, good button if you if you land it. But I guess you could say that about all buttons in this game. But this particular, don't do it in neutral. Do it on hit. Okay, so now his next kick is his crouching medium. Minus five, so you're not really safe. You're not. It's not the safest thing in the world. Definitely don't be pressing buttons after it. But much like his crouching uh, strong, you can cancel it into electric, right? Or into Blanca Chan or whatever you want. And make it safer and even hit your opponent, right? So it has that going for it. It has a great reach going for it. But yeah, it hits low. So Blanca doesn't have any standing normals that hit low. The, it's only his crouching ones, right? But yeah, uh, good range, cancel it and make it safer. You can do a whole block string with it. But if you're just gonna use it like this, I would not, I would not recommend trying to, to challenge anything that someone is gonna throw after it, because you'll probably get hit by it. They are plus five and you're minus five, so. Yeah, there's that to keep in mind, but yeah. Definitely doing it into electric is not a bad idea. You're safer, you can also do it into super. All right, so now we're gonna move into his next set of command normals, his unique normals, right? So the first one I wanna talk about is that, his, 
his back medium kick. This button is uh it's good and it's also not so good at the same time, right? So it hits high, meaning people can duck it and then punish you for it, right? It has 12 frames of recovery, but if you whiff it and they're ducking right next to you, you're gonna you're gonna eat a combo. Nine frame startup. What you really use this move for is anti-airing because. Contrary to the animation, uh, the hitbox of this is like basically all the way on top, like covering the entire top of Blanca. So you can anti-air uh, very consistently and very easily with it. So that's really what it's there for. It's his, it's his anti-air button it's, and you use it a whole bunch. On hit, on, on block. You're at a very, you're at a plus two, so you can challenge anything else they might do. You can special cancel this uh, on counter hit. You'll actually get his next uh, unique uh, normal that I'm going to talk about, and we'll just get into it now. It's it's his old standing medium kick from Street Fighter V, and here it's his forward medium kick. And it's two hits. There's a seven frame gap between the hits. Pretty unlikely that someone is going to, you know, hit you in between the hits. But yeah, this is a very, very good button. He go Blanca goes pretty far with it. And it's, yeah, it's just all around a great gap closer. It has a long recovery, so if you do whiff it, you can pro you're probably gonna get hit, but it's such a good gap closer. You're only minus two, so you're safe. You can do a whole lot with it. And naturally it combos into standing jab, right? On hit and naturally natural combo into stand jab into electric. So yeah, it's just an all-around good button, right? Definitely use it. But you cannot cancel it into anything. It is a trade-off, but that's fine because it's a nine frame startup, two hits. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about his heavy attacks. His standing fierce first. So Blanca's fierce in this game is only 10 frames. So it's got the same amount of time uh, before it's active as this as his medium punch. Medium punch, 10 frame startup. Heavy punch, 10 frame startup. Although this is safer as it's minus three, you can cancel it into anything. On hit, you can do you can do stand fierce, coward crouch, punch into a full combo. You can do a lot with it. Its range is not as good as stand strong but it's got a fairly decent range Blanca does move forward when he does it so he does close the gap a little bit now I don't really throw this out in the neutral a whole lot but what you can do with it which is what I do with this fish for a counter hit right fish for a punish counter but yeah it's don't really use this in the neutral use it if you can fish for that counter hit because that's really good. But it is safe on block, so there's that to it. Special cancel into a whole bunch of stuff to really mess with your opponent and keep them blocking and keep you on the offensive. But yeah, it's very good fierce punch. Uh, don't whiff it because you're gonna you're gonna eat a com a combo. This is a 22 frame recovery. Alright, his next move I'm actually going to talk about is his standing roundhouse. Stand roundhouse. Um, it's the same as it was from Street Fighter V. Uh, it's not a very far reaching attack. It's actually surprisingly short in range. It's minus three, so you are safe, but you can't cancel it out of anything. You can't cancel 
anything from it. It is a natural combo into stand jab on hit, on, on counter hit. But of course, it's going to be a natural combo to a lot of things. But what it's really good at is, is anti-airing. This move, they have made it better as an anti-air tool in this game compared to 5, right? This, his, his back medium kick, the anti-air on that is essentially what his stand roundhouse was in 5, where you don't really get anything after it, they kind of get knocked down, but that's it. This move will launch your opponent so high that you can get a full combo just from this anti-air and do a sizable amount of damage. So that's really the best way to use it on block. It is minus four if you're right next to a person, minus one if you're really far away, and it's minus three around the middle. But you have to really find that, that sweet spot on it, which honestly actually makes this move harder to use optimally because it's not like you can be right next to him and keep hitting it, keep hitting it, keep hitting it. You have to really find that range where you're gonna be getting minus one or minus three and and to be safe while while using it. So yeah, it's got there's quite a bit going on here. Great anti-air. Not so great really as anything else. I personally don't really use it a lot. It's got a very good um, startup though. It's only seven frames. Seven frame startup, you can definitely punish people with this. Now we're gonna move on to his crouching fierce. Crouching fierce, which is crouching heavy punch, is also the same from Street Fighter V. A very far reaching normal. In this game, Blanca actually moves forward while he doesn't, which is pretty insane. And uh, this is a. It's nearly as good as a button to use at mid screen, right? You can you can do standing strong into it, right? Uh, to space people out. And I use this quite a bit. I'd say I use this more than I do standing strong. Uh, around mid screen if I don't have any meter. Obviously if you have meter, standing strong is a little better because you can cancel into super. This move you can't really cancel into anything uh, because it is, is far reaching. It's safe, even though it says it's minus five, you are at a safe distance here. Definitely don't use this right next to somebody because then you're probably gonna eat the combo. Uh, where this move really excels is actually in the corner because Blanca doesn't gain distance nor does he lose distance so you can just keep hitting somebody with this right and force them to try and do something else but yeah it's definitely decent for corner pressure now there is one huge downside to moves like this where you can't cancel into anything and that is drive impact. If you're pressuring someone in the corner with this, they can DI you while you do this and there's nothing you can do because you can't cancel. But otherwise, super good far reaching normal. And Blanca, again, neither gains or loses distance on block. A good button to press at mid range. The chances of you whiffing it are pretty low as well because it covers so much ground. So don't be afraid to press it at mid screen. It's a very good button. Obviously if you do miss it, there is a huge recovery, but they have to be pretty darn close to you to actually get anything from it, which just makes this button all the more useful to, do, to use. Now we're gonna move on to this crouching roundhouse, or you know, sweep. Crouching heavy kick. Um, what is there to talk about? It's 11 frames. Got 23 frame recovery. It's minus 12 as it as all uh, crouching heavy kicks are. It is. I. 
It's pretty reliable if someone does like a heavy punch against you. It's pretty reliable as a response to it. It has good range. Really good range. It has good reach. Not as good a reach as his crouched heavy punch. But it's it's got decent reach. I would not recommend really throwing this out too much, right? Because it's got it just has so much recovery and if they do block it, that is a guaranteed combo for your opponent. But I mean again it's there just like his overhead, you mix people up with it a little bit. But we're gonna really talk about mix-ups in a sec here after I talk about his next command normal which is his forward fears his new attack called like wild nail or something this move is better than I thought it's definitely not as good as I wanted it to be but it's better than I thought so what is the point of this move right you might be wondering because on hit you don't get anything from it on block it pushes them away it has the longest uh, end lag it has the longest recovery at 31 frames and it's an 18 frame startup really what you use this for is around here honestly because if you do it right next to someone you're gonna eat a combo if you do it around mid screen you're fine if you whiff it though um, there's pretty ample distance between you and your opponent if you do it optimally at like mid-screen. So you're not really going to eat any crazy damage, so you should be fine. What What's really um, interesting about this move is that it's only cancelable into Coward Crouch. So if you hit someone on block, you can Coward Crouch, and then, you know, do Punch, or you can do what's better is the his jump. His jump from Coward Crouch. That's really where you would want it. That's where the it's more useful is, is hit someone on block and then you coward crouch and then you do all that jazz. But yeah, it's again it's it's much like his crouching strong. It's something you're either gonna be using a lot or you're not gonna use at all. You'll really have to just make it kind of work into your playstyle. Me, I don't really use it much. I throw it out very um, sporadically. However, I do I do use it, but not much. I kind of save it so that people don't constantly see it and and whatnot. It's yeah, not terrible. Better than I thought. It does not hit overhead, although the animation might make you think so. Yeah, it's interesting button. Definitely um, whiffing it is pretty bad but getting blocked or you know it's it's not as bad as you would think all right now we are on to the big mix-up I want to show you guys I've been using this so oh wait a sec actually I gotta show you one more one more uh, unique input this is Amazon River run returning from Street Fighter 5 and other games. So this is a low. It's obviously super negative. It's got it's pretty fast and honestly it's I use this button a lot. If your opponent is kind of like unsure of what they're what to do, they're like walk if they walk forward and they kind of pattern out their walking, you can definitely hit someone with it because reacting to it is on online is pretty hard. This move low profiles projectiles, it low profiles drive impacts if uh, done correctly. It can low profile a drive impact I should say. But yeah, you'll go under fireballs, you'll get a nice knockdown. If you hit someone and they drive impact, there is a you, there's a chance that the drive impact will completely whiff over you, which is pretty awesome. But I want to show you the crazy, the insane thing with this move and with his overhead as well, because it is pretty insane. But yeah, that's that's my thoughts on 
down forward heavy punch. Down forward fierce. Amazon river run. Low profile projectiles. Drive impacts. Uh, you can surprise people with it. It's definitely pretty darn good. It's good if you use it, you know, in that way. Obviously, if you're just gonna throw it out a whole bunch, you're gonna eat a lot of a lot of damage. So yeah, definitely like look. It's great for opening people up if you can figure out the way they kind of walk forward and backwards and whatnot. And if they do throw out a fireball, you just do that. But yeah. I want to show you this crazy thing now about this move and why I, I said this overhead is actually really good and it is because of Drive Rush. Drive Rush from Perry on Blanca is insane because his Amazon River Run will go full screen if you do it. Meaning. If people don't know about that, you're guaranteed to get right next to them and now you, you're set up for Oki. If they start expecting it and you're around mid screen, you can do overhead and you'll be plus two no matter what and get a full combo if you do hit them. It's crazy. So here, let me show you. You have to just do it instantly, right? You have to do it instantly after you drive rush because if you wait too long, he's not going to go as far. Or, you know, if you wait too long, you might not get it and they'll be able to react to it. But if you do it instantly, oh man, the amount of people that react to that is like, in my playtime, was like nobody. So it's, that's why it's just so, that's why I, I really hold it up to a high, such a high, like, pedestal. Because well, if you're across the screen and someone's zoning you, or depressing you, you just do that and you're right next to them. Obviously if they block it, that's bad news for you. But that's why you have the overhead if you're around mid. So now they, they're they forced to guess, is he gonna go for the full screen low or is he gonna try to overhead? Or you know, something crazy and weird. But yeah, this move is really freaking good. If you use it that way. But yeah. Uh, I guess lastly we'll go over his air buttons, right? Alright. I did his... Alright, jumping jab. Not really that. I wouldn't... I don't really use it. Sure, it's got a, it's got a decent startup, but it's really nothing compared to his jumping uh, medium punch, his jump strong. Lots of range. It goes at a, down, a good angle as well. So the chances of you whiffing it are pretty low and it's active for six frames. And the cool thing is that it's actually special cancelable on hit into his air Blanca ball. So you can do it in combos and whatnot and it's really just, that's probably his best button when it comes to his aerial normals. His neutral jump fierce. I don't really recommend using this. It's sure you're super plus if you land it, but you gotta get down really, really close to your opponent, and by that time they can react with really anything. And it's yeah, it doesn't have good range. Though if you do land it, you're gonna be very plus. But yeah, I definitely do do jump medium punch, jumping strong. It's his best, I think it's, I honestly think it's his best one. Uh, forward jump, uh, fierce. Also a lot of range. If you air-to-air -air someone, they get a hard knockdown, I believe. And, yeah, it's got a lot of range. You're pretty plus. But, it's a little slower. I think that, I, I would say stick with, stick with this. Stick with jump uh, strong. If they're in the corner though, do do jump fierce because then you'll knock them right back into the corner if they jump, if they try to jump out. Yeah, so use this one in the corner, his jump strong in the corner if they're gonna jump. Otherwise, constantly use, use jump, jump strong. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna talk about his jumping kicks. Jump light kick. 
is very hard to land, <laughs> kind of. Um, yeah. I again don't. I I would say don't don't really use this one. Maybe if you're gonna if you have time to react to an air to air, it is fast. Those jab is faster. But yeah, I don't really use this one a lot. I don't think it's as good in comparison to his jump, his jump forward, his jump medium kick. Jump medium kick, great for cross ups. It hits far at a good angle. And yeah, really good cross up tool. Uh, jump strong, has a lot of reach, plus five. And yeah, it lands you pretty far away from them, so it's not too bad, honestly. If you just do it kind of like this. But yeah, cross ups, jump, jump, uh, jump, medium kick. But if you're just really kind of trying to pressure somebody, uh, then yeah, do do jump roundhouse. That's really my thoughts on on his jumping commands. I don't really think there's too much to talk about when it comes to them. Yeah, do jump. Basically, just know that his jump strongs are great are good to use just kind of regularly. His jump fierces are a little situational, but they're honestly also good. Just just know not to use any of his jumping lights cuz they're not they're not great. Especially when he has this that you can cancel into Blanca Ball and use it in a combo. But that is basically it. I hope this helped. Uh, it helps anyone really, you know, especially if you're new, you might not uh, really know oh, what buttons should I be pressing here, what should I be pressing here, or if I'm further away. But yeah, I hope this helps uh, future Blanca players and just Street Fighter players in general, because in Street Fighter, spacing is, I mean, well, in any fighting game, honestly, spacing is a very big part of it. A, yeah, spacing is absolutely huge. But yeah. Hope this helped, and yeah, that's that's really it. Uh, keep in mind, this is all coming from the the mouth of a guy who's currently in Silver One, so I'm pretty awful. 